Uh, welcome to another video lads, so um, today I'm just going to bring you through another upper body workout and uh, just give some kind of tips on the exercises as I go through it. So um, today was a little bit of a lighter upper body day for myself. Um, so I started off with um, incline bench press, so on my heavier upper body day I'll do flat bench press for less reps. Um, and then on the lighter upper body day I'll do incline bench um, for more reps. So I started off with a superset of uh, incline barbell bench press superset with a chest board row. Um, so for the bench, uh, it's fairly lightweight and I was doing uh, 15 reps on this again. Um, so 15 reps on the bench and then I superset that with a, a dumbbell chest support row and I did 12 reps on that. Um, so keeping the weight relatively light for both. Um, on this day, I'm just kind of more focused on getting a good um, connection with the muscle and trying to um, contract it as hard as I can. So when I'm doing the incline bench press, I'm trying to squeeze my chest as I get up to the top and I control it down all the way down to my chest and back up. I do that for 15 reps and really just kind of feel the muscle working compared to on a heavier day when I'm just trying to um, move the most weight I can and keep the strength and keep the nervous system um, primed to lift heavy weights. Um, and then same thing on the chest squat row, I just pull it up, squeeze my back as hard as I can, make sure I feel my lats working and then control it down and back up and trying to take the biceps out as much as possible. They will get involved a little bit. Um, but really trying to focus on, on my back that one. Okay, and then the second exercise was another superset. Um, this time it was pull-ups with a overhand grip, so a pronated grip um, on the bar. For basically as many reps as possible, I just did three sets of 10. Um, and then a superset with a seated shoulder press with dumbbells um, for sets of 12. So again, this is three sets going back and forth. Um, and again, with this one, with the, with the pull-ups, you want to do as many as possible with one or two in the tank. So um, you don't want to go to complete failure on the first set because then you'll start losing reps as the sets go on. Um, so for me and myself, I probably could have done 11 or 12 the first set, but then on the second one I would have only got 8 or 9 and then 6 or 7 and so on and so forth. So I wanted to get a consistent number, so I stopped at 10 the first set um, and then I picked the weight with the same thing that I could do 12 reps, leaving one or two in the tank um, with the shoulder press. So again, same thing with this one, really trying to focus on feeling the muscle working. Um, so on the heavier day I have weighted underhand chin-ups so you can you can move more weight with a supinated grip so hands under like this uh, but today I'm just focused on feeling my lats and keep the overhand so I can't do quite as many reps or um, add weight to this one so I was just doing body weight um, so thinking about the back really working as I'm pulling up um, and then on the shoulder press really focusing on contracting my shoulders as best I can and um, getting to the top and then control it back down. And last thing for the weights for the workout was actually a giant set so it was uh, basically a little circuit of four different exercises um, starting off with the chest then working the back then working the shoulders then working the back again. Um, so the first one was a key press it's called, um, a flat key press. So this is when you're lying down flat on the bench doing a dumbbell press but as you come down you supinate your grip so you turn your hands down so your palms are facing your chin and then you turn it back up the other way as you press up and again this one this really allows for a good contraction in the chest so we're really like focusing on pulling it down get a stretch at the bottom and then as I press up I'm tensing my chest muscles as hard as I can and then control it back down and each one of these exercises was 15 reps as well so this one was uh, fairly tiring so if you're um, unfit at the moment cardiovascularly and you try this you'll probably feel more winded than anything more than the muscles as you get tired you'll just feel yourself out of breath and starting to burn out by the end of the set um, so it was 15 key presses then I went to um, a high row on the cables so I had um, a lap pull down bar a wide grip bar and I put it in the middle attachment on the cable machine and I was just pulling up keeping my elbows up high and squeezing my upper back um, at the top so this one is actually trying to take the lats out of it and I have as little lat involvement in this one as possible and more upper back so traps around my rear delts all that and I went back to the dumbbells um, for seated lateral raises again 15 reps on this one I was just focused on trying to keep my elbow and hand in line and then hand turned down so what a lot of people will do will turn their hand up like this I'll show you with a dumbbell hand turned down so a lot of people will turn their hand up like this and go like that and then you're using your traps too much so this one is for the lateral head of your delt so you want to keep your pinky higher than your thumb and your arm in line with your elbow. Okay, really feel that one out there. And you won't be able to lift as much weight 
using that technique, but it'll work the muscle correctly. Um, okay, and then the last one of those four exercises was a cable lat pullover, so I'm going back to the lats, and this was with a straight bar, hands like this, pulling over, and squeezing the back muscles. Um, so it's easy to get the triceps involved in this one where like you're doing a push down but you want to limit that as much as possible and keep the arms rel relatively straight um, pull down and contract the lats as you get to the bottom and then really control it up feel the stretch all the way through get your head through okay uh, my camera just died at the very end of recording that there so I'm just gonna finish it off my phone um, so again the last exercise of those four exercises together was a lat pullover uh, trying to squeeze the lats as much as possible um, and now I'm going to go do hit cardio, so I'm going to do some um, sprints outside. So basically I'm just going to do 10 second all out sprint, followed by a one minute walk, and then 10 second all out sprint again, and I'm going to do, that's one round, uh, one sprint, one walk is one round, and I'm going to do that 10 times. Um, so instead of doing a steady state like I did on the bike the other day, now I'm going to do some hit where you're spiking up your heart rate as high as possible for that all out exertion, and then you're slowly bringing it back down, but before it gets back down to rest and you're spiking it back up, and gradually going through that process. Um, okay, so hope you enjoyed the video, hope you can take something away. Sorry about my camera dying, hope the phone quality is okay. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.